Hey guys and welcome to Medvise TV where pharmacists like myself give you the information you need to better manage your health and medications. Today's topic, asthma. Now I really am excited to go over this topic with you today because I have a lot of patients that just don't understand what's going on with their asthma treatment. So I really think this video is going to be helpful for a lot of people out there who do have asthma. This is such an important topic because making sure you're treating your asthma properly can help you avoid hospital visits or, or visits to the ER and also just increase your overall quality of life. Now I've come up with three pillars to better manage your asthma. Uh, the first one is to make sure you create an act, a asthma action plan with either your pharmacist or your prescribing physician. We're going to have a link to that below in our YouTube video. Uh, so make sure you print that off and get started on that. The second one is lifestyle modifications. Make sure you find out what might trigger your asthma and make sure you're avoiding those things. Uh, the second thing to do is make sure if you are a smoker, you got to quit smoking, which can cause exacerbations. Exercise is another important thing in lifestyle modifications, making sure you are uh, staying as active as possible. And the last thing is get vaccinated. The reason why getting vaccinated is important is because people who get the flu or get pneumonia uh, are more likely to end up in the hospital and have severe respiratory complications than someone who didn't have asthma. Although there are some controversies surrounding you know, getting vaccinated, I highly, highly recommend if you have asthma to consider talking with your pharmacist or your prescribing physician uh, to get vaccinated. Let's go right into treatment now. Again, a huge problem I see with people who have asthma are you know, lack of understanding of what's going on or, or improper use of their medications. Now there's two main types of, of uh, categories of asthma medications. And the, uh, the first one we're gonna talk about is the uh, quick relief medication, um, also known as the rescue inhaler. Everyone that has asthma should have a rescue inhaler. They're usually only used as needed for if you're having an asthma attack that it's not supposed to be used every single day. Make sure you, you're, you're aware of the inhaler that you're using. Make sure you know, is that a quick relief one or is it not? Now that we talked about quick relief, let's go into the long-term maintenance uh, medications. I like to call it daily prevention. Now these are the medications that you're supposed to take every single day. These medications are used to prevent symptoms or prevent having an asthma attack or lessen the symptoms if you do have an asthma attack. Now these usually come in the form of an inhaler, uh, but some pills are available, but inhalers are usually preferred medications because it works locally in your lungs, so we're not worried about the uh, side effects that can have in other parts of your body, um, although there are pills available. So that's all I have today about asthma. Before you start or change the way you take any sort of medication, you talk with your pharmacist or your prescribing physician first. If you have any more questions and uh, you want to reach out to me, you can email me directly at richard at medvise.com. That's richard at M-E-D-V-I-Z-E.com. Thanks for watching. Take care.